welcome to the Pika makeup hope you all are in super awesome today's video is going to be a empties or products I used up video I do these videos every three months so um, I have quite a lot of products um, because I'm kind of in a decluttering kick so I've been going through my collection using up a lot of products and also decluttering them so uh, let's begin this video without any further ado so first i'm going to talk about the masks that i used and uh, these are by neutrogena i used their brightening mask um, this is the hydrating mask and i also tried their overnight gel mask and i put up a review of all these three on my instagram you can check out that post but i really like the sheet mask over the night uh, overnight mask i didn't really like the overnight mask because you just can't sleep right away uh, with this mask on you just have to wait for half an hour for the mask to sink in and over the night it kind of peels on the skin and uh, yeah i didn't really like it that much the effect is also not that great while the sheet masks are amazing they just do whatever they claim to do this is very brightening and uh, this is very hydrating out of these two i would definitely go with the hydrating mask and i really really like it this is 100 percent hydrogel mask this has vitamin b3 and this has hyaluronic acid i love hyaluronic acid so that's that the next one i have here are a couple of food um, products this one yeah, both are from uh, freeman and this is the barefoot lavender plus mint scrub and this is the barefoot peppermint plus plum foot lotion with tea tree oil i got both of these from um, walmart these were very inexpensive i really like this scrub and i didn't like the foot lotion as much it's not that effective so uh, i didn't use it up but i use this completely but i'm just throwing both of these away and i have a couple of products from um actually a few products from lush uh, so the first one i have here is the bb seaweed fresh face mask and um, this is like their uh, instant mask that they have and um, this was actually good but it's not very effective i mean i like the feeling that it gives when it's on my face but the benefits are not as much and um, yeah i didn't use up the whole tub either because i always feel like this is too much uh, for the time they give to use up this product i mean i don't do mask every single day to use up this whole tub of mask and you only have like less than i think less than 15 days or one month to use this mask um, this whole tub so i didn't use it up and i'm after this i didn't repurchase any mask from um, lush i want to try a few but it's just that the quantity is too much for me uh, the next one I have here is something that I really like. This is a repurchase and uh, after using up like two or three bottles, I stopped using and um, like I switched to the Mario Badescu uh, facial mist. But I'm going to go back and get this one. I really like this. This is the tea tree water um, toner water. It comes in a spray bottle and I really, really like it. And it helps with my acne as well and it's very refreshing. And it's very travel friendly as well. You just like spray on. Um, so I'm going to get this. This is going, going to be uh, repurchased again. The next one I have here is the Grease Lightening tea tree uh, cleanser so this is basically not like a cleanser it is basically like a spot treatment for uh, post acne marks and i feel like this is a lot of product to go through honestly having so much of acne blemishes even if i put on um uh, every single day i was not able to use up this whole thing more than half of it is left out and it's expired as well so lush products um they need to just you know calm down with the quantity of the products and maybe reduce the price a, a little bit because um i most of the time i'm not able to use up the entire products that i get from lush and their um, expiry date is actually pretty close because they use all natural products so I'm not going to purchase the grease lightening face even though it is very very effective. It does fade out the blemishes. It doesn't dry out the skin. It's clear so you can even wear it under makeup. But it's just always and this is not even an inexpensive product. It's quite expensive. I don't remember how much though. So yeah throwing it away. 
The next one I have here is a deodorant and uh, this is Tom's. You can get this from any drugstore. This is an aluminum free uh, deodorant and it's uh, lavender scented. Um, I kind of like the scent and everything but I need to uh, apply twice. Uh, especially in summers I need to go ahead twice uh, with this deodorant and also it takes a very long time to dry um, as well so right after I put this on I need to just you know stand under a fan or something to dry this and then put on my clothes otherwise this is going to transfer so I'm not going to repurchase uh, this one and I'm actually on the lookout for a natural deodorant I came across two um, one is uh, Schmidt's and also another one is called native native I need to order online but I heard Schmidt's Schmidt is available uh, at Costco so I'm going to check out next time all right next moving on I have a ton of mascaras that I honestly didn't use up but I'm just uh, throwing it away so let me gather them all all right I have all these mascaras that I am throwing away so I have uh, three four five six seven, eight mascaras that I'm throwing away this one I have here is a BH Cosmetics Mascara. This is the Long Sexy Lashes. I don't like it at all. Uh, I mean, uh, it doesn't remotely even work like a mascara for me. Uh, the formula to the wand, everything is so basic and it clumps up and I just don't like it at all. Never purchasing it. And the same goes with the Iman Amplify Mascara. Again, doesn't lengthen, give any volume. It's just mascara and a basic brush and yeah i don't like it either uh, the next one i have here is by ysl this i completely used it up and this is their uh four sills uh mascara i guess i don't i don't see the name yeah um yeah four sills uh mascara with volume effect and i really really like it initially i wasn't really a great fan of it but as the formula got thicker it was giving me a lot of volume um very good length mainly length um and i really really like it but i'm not gonna splurge on a ysl mascara when having um such amazing mascaras at the drugstore we're talking about the amazing mascaras at the drugstore my favorite all time um mascara is uh, by essence this is the lash princess mascara so now they have like three different kinds in this um, the one i'm using is like this green pattern i also have a peach pattern one but out of the three i really like the one with this uh, purple pattern on this is the sculpting volume mascara so for me my lashes are long enough but i need something to hold the curl and also give a lot of volume and that is what this does this is i think 299 and it works amazing i haven't come across a better mascara than this one so far so i love it i'm going to keep repurchasing that one next i have this it cosmetics um hello lashes uh, mascara now the formula is good but the wand is actually a rubber wand it kind of pokes uh, when I'm applying um, my mascara, when I get too close to my lashes, it kind of like pokes in the eye. Uh, that feeling I don't like. But in general, um, the brush actually doesn't function as much. It gives a good length, but it doesn't give me volume. So I like to use this like a separating mascara if I'm using a clumpy mascara which gives a lot of volume and length. And if I have to separate my lashes, this is when what I um, used it for and I completely used it. The next one I have here is something that I really liked. This is by CoverGirl Plumpify Blast Pro Mascara. This is not the best mascara that I ever tried, but this is also a very good mascara. The wand is very thick. It's a rubbery wand, um, but the formula and also the wand is very good. It works with separating my lashes gives a lot of length but volume not so much so i'm not going to repurchase this my essence mascara still stands to be the best um, then moving on i have two mascaras just the color of the packaging is different they both have the same shape now this is the wet and wild max volume mascara mascara max volume plus mascara 
and I didn't really like it. I used it for a few times, ended up not liking it, so not purchasing it. Again, it has a rubbery wand that I don't like. I like the fiber kind of um, wands uh, in mascaras. The next one I have here, again, the same complaint is the Fall Slash Butterfly Mas Mascara by L'Oreal. Now, the formula of the mascara is good, but the wand is the main reason I don't like this. So, I'm not going to repurchase this one. So, all those mascaras are going away. Moving on, I have a few nail products. And this is a nail polish remover by Health & Glow. I got a few nail polishes. Like, I think I got four nail polishes and they gave two bottles of this uh, for free. And uh, this is acetone free and it has vitamin E and I really like this nail polish remover. It looks like the Lakme nail polish remover but I like the Health & Glow one much better. And it's very gentle and it's nourishing on the nails and cuticles as well. So if you are in India, if you are looking for a good nail polish remover, definitely check Health & Glow. Uh, Alright, the next one I have here is a top coat. And this is by a brand called Nail Aid. When did I even use this? I'm not able to remember. Uh, guys, I'm not able to remember. I don't even remember where I got this from. This is Nail Aid Extreme Gel Top Coat. Maybe I got this from the Dollar Tree and I think I use this like a base coat more than a top coat. Yeah, yeah, I think I use this like a base coat and not like a top coat and it's okay. Yeah, I'm not going to purchase that again. Next, I have this base and top coat by Sally Hansen. It's the Ultimate Shield and I really, really, really like it. The manicure stays for so long. I use uh, like one bottle and you are good with the base coat and top coat. And I really like it. I mean, it dries up very quickly and um, my manicure stays on longer. And I really, really like this one. Alright, I'm throwing away this um, Real Technique sponge. I think I got a wrong one. I went ahead and purchased two more. And they didn't change anything. I thought like when I purchased this one, I thought they changed it because this is much more soft. It doesn't really poof up as much and it got stained very quickly and it's toned as well. So I thought Real Techniques changed their sponges, but no, I just got a wrong one and I'm throwing it away and I don't like it. Um, next, moving on, I have this little sunscreen sample uh, by Tarte. And this is the Tarte Guard 30. I didn't use it. Like I used it for a couple of times and this came off. And I don't really want to take the hassle to, you know, use it up. Uh, but this is um, like a white sunscreen. When you're blending, it has a little bit of purple tint to it. But then once you're done blending it, it feels good. But then it gives a little bit of white cast, which I don't like. If I ended up liking this one, um, I would have taken the pain of using up the sample and maybe just go for a full size, but I didn't end up liking it. And my all-time favorite sunscreen is by Lotus from India. Okay, some uh, facial wipes. This is by Alcone Company. And uh, I got these from the makeup show. And if I ever come across these... Um, makeup remover wipes I would definitely buy them because I don't use makeup remover wipes to remove my makeup on a regular basis I use either coconut or grapeseed oil massage on my skin and I use water wipes that we use for um, my son um, and to just wipe off um, the residue but these makeup wipes actually has a little bit of oil i guess i don't know how it works but it truly removes entire makeup one wipe is enough and uh, this is the pack i travel with to india and uh, this was all i needed and when i was on the go of course i won't be able to travel with oil and also you know i'll always have water wipes but they don't do 100 percent job at removing my makeup but these do so if i ever come across i will definitely buy these Okay, then I used up um, the Shea Moisture Sasha Inchi Oil uh, Bubble Bath, like a body wash and also body lotion. I still cannot get over the scent. 
so good i really like the body wash the scent lingers on the body and also the body lotion is very nourishing so i'm definitely going to get the full size of it guys you just need to sniff it i mean the scent is strong but it somehow just like it i'm not really a great fan of strong scents but this one i just really really like it and also shea moisture products are no parabens, phthalates, uh, propyl glycol, no mineral oil, no sulfates and no animal testing. So I'm actually using their shampoo and um, I kind of like it. Sometimes I don't, sometimes I like, I'm still testing out. I'll let you know. Then uh, I used up this mask by Tata Harper. Oh my God, this is amazing, you guys. I took this sample to India and um, I used it like an overnight mask. I think this is overnight um no this is like a 20 to 30 minute mask i used it oh my god my skin was so good i feel like it has just removed the top layer or the dead skin on my face and just pulled out the next layer of my skin it was glowy and it was very plumpy and i absolutely love it and i'm definitely going to uh, purchase the full size i'm pretty sure this is a very expensive uh, mask but I uh, put this on my list and I'm definitely going to purchase it another mask that I used up is a Sephora uh, mud mask I have a full size of it which I absolutely love if you want to get a glam glow mud mask do not splurge on it uh, this is at least two or three uh, times less price than the glam glow and it works equally amazing and i really really like it i already have a full size i've been using it i just had a sample so i used it when i was traveling this one i have um two brush cleaners and uh, the first one i'm going to talk about is the sonia kashuk and this is the quick dry makeup brush wipe so i actually saved the brush wipe um it's going to be dirty but you get this little tinsy wincy wipe which is almost dry it doesn't really work for face brushes this is only like i used it to remove um you know clean my eye brushes and it wasn't even effective i just clean like two or three makeup brushes with this no solution at all um and it doesn't really work either so never looking to that and the next one is something that actually surprised me this is the beauty blender um this is the liquid cleanser i used to have a full size um liquid beauty blender cleaner and i hardly used it to clean 10 sponges and it was out it was taking so much product it's not as effective and i didn't really like it so i switched to solid beauty blender cleanser and i really really like it which is what i'm using right now but i had this sample laying so i thought i'll just give it a try because it said improved formula so I'm guessing they changed the formula and uh, this actually surprised me. This is better than the solid cleanser. So once I run out of that, I'm going to get the liquid cleanser. I really, really like it. You only need a little bit. With this sample, I cleaned three um, uh, beauty blenders. And um, uh, when you soak the beauty blender for some time in the liquid and some water, it actually removes any pre-existing stains as well and I really 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 like okay. it. Two little perfume veils I used up and uh, I don't buy full size perfumes you guys. Um, I'm not into uh, strong fragrances at all. My husband is allergic and ever since I'm pregnant with my first baby even I kind of developed that allergy for uh, fragrances so now we don't buy any uh, Bath and Body Works, Victoria's Secrets or any perfumes like completely banned in the house. Um, so I only use um, these little veils. I have a ton of them whenever I place Sephora orders. I get a lot of them. So whenever it's required, I just have one of these in my handbag. So I used up the Clo uh, Eau de Parfum which I really liked. It's sweet and I really really like it. It stays for a very long time on my skin. And then this is Marc Jacobs Decadence. Do you have to start like so often? The AC unit is right beside me, you guys. So this is the Marc Jacobs Decadence. As much as I like the scent, um, I, la I prefer Clo um, 
on my body because it lingers for a longer time than the Marc Jacobs yeah all right I have a few primers so the face primers the first one I have here is a hangover 3-in-1 primer by Too Faced and this is a primer and also a setting spray for a primer this is good because it's tacky but for a setting spray again it's tacky so I don't really like the feeling of this as a setting spray and also the pump that came with the sample squirts of the product only in one area so I just didn't really enjoy it at all I'm not gonna purchase it the next one I have here is a face primer by Makeup Forever this is a step one skin skin equalizer and this is the hydrating primer and I absolutely love it I do have a lot of primers in my collection um, so that's the reason I'm not going to repurchase this one at this time uh, but this is definitely on one of my top primers list if I ever I'm in the market to buy a primer I'm definitely going to look into this one and also if you are interested to see my primers collection and what I think about each primer do check out the video I'll put that in the description box below I'm running out of breath you guys <laughs> and then the eye primer I tried to use it up for such a long time and I don't really like this this is the Victoria's Secrets eye eyeshadow primer the lasting effects eyeshadow primer and uh, I finally used it up and I don't really enjoy this primer I mean after I bought this there are so many other amazing primers in the market so this one is like a sheer product it doesn't have any coverage on the eyelid it's not as tacky to hold the eye makeup so yeah I finally used it anyways because I don't have oily eyelids um, I'm almost pretty much okay with any primer you give me I can work with it so that's that right now I'm using the essence primer which I really like okay moving on to some more makeup and this is the wet and wild mega liner I really really like it this is only $2.99 and this is very black and it stays put throughout the day that what the tip is also very fine to do the wing and I absolutely love it I already have a backup to this one but I'm not going to open it right now I'm trying to use up some more liquid liners in my collection but that one is always on my list um, and uh, if I blindly go to the store to pick up a eyeliner wet and wild mega liner it, it is and then I have three uh, lip products the first one is a lip balm by city colors lip butter by city colors and I almost used it and then I dropped it right on the floor like this so I cannot use it anymore but I am almost done with it so this one uh, gives a little bit of color uh, but it's more like a lip tint you cannot use this like a lip balm because it kind of dries up my lips so I only used it like a lip um, what do you call like a lip balm whenever I want to have a little bit of colors throughout the day so that's how I used it the most disappointing lip product uh, ever is the elf lip exfoliator and uh, I'm not even going to open this oh, you guys I hate this. this is a lip scrub in a lipstick form and I don't really like the fact that the dry skin is stuck on the lip product and you just have to store it like that and use it the next time I just don't like the idea of a lip scrub in a lipstick form and I somehow felt like this is too gritty for my lips it has big particles and they're pretty strong to the lips so I just didn't like it at all very disappointing I know a lot of people like this but for me I don't it's not even as nourishing as well I might as well will um, just mix a little bit of sugar honey and also some olive oil or coconut oil and scrub it on my lips I love that and then I have a small bowl of um, mini lipsticks so I like to collect them but sometimes I just go through them and I found this little Urban Decay lipstick in the shade 69 and it is um, a beautiful uh, pinkish red color but it has gone bad it looks gross so that's the reason I'm throwing it away okay and I have these um, two primers that I have decluttered and I'm throwing it away and I mentioned why I decluttered um, them in the primers video you can check that out this is the L'Oreal and this is the Maybelline baby skin 
and this one is a concealer i also made a roundup of all my concealers and color correctors i gave mini reviews and why i like and why i'm decluttering a few out of which i decluttered this wet and wild pen highlighting and concealing pen so yeah those are all the products that i used up in the months of march april sorry april may and june and uh, starting from july i'm gonna uh, make another stash of empties and i'll come back with this video after three months so anyways if you have any product recommendations for me please let me know in the comments below and also if you want to hear more about any of the products that i mentioned today let me know in the comments below or if you have any questions put them all in the comments i will answer every single comment so that is it if you enjoyed this video and found this video helpful do not forget to hit on the thumbs up button and also do subscribe to my channel along with clicking on the bell icon right beside it so you don't miss on my future uploads and you can also follow me on my social media i'm deepika makeup everywhere that's a wrap and i will see you all very 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 soon in my next video bye